Don't leave me hanging. It's go time. Hey everybody, this is Josh, and I'm bringing you this game as part of the group stages for the Intel Extreme Masters Tournament as part of Gamescom 2010 in Cologne, Germany. And here the players are Naniwa in the top right as the green Protoss, and his opponent is Idra playing as MYM Sunny. Just ignore that. It's Idra. He played this game live. We know it's Idra. So uh, he did not have a Europe account of his own, so he just borrowed one from uh, this lovely Sunny person. But um, yeah, so the first game was pretty exciting. This is going to be game two in this best of three, and I will try to bring you all of Idra's games from day two of Gamescom or of the Intel Extreme Masters, and uh, bracket play will be tomorrow. I'm not going to spoil who's going to the brackets, and I will not spoil any of the other series in this game. I'm going to stick to just this series. So hopefully you guys watched game one and hope you enjoyed it, and now we'll move into game two here on Blistering Sands. Idra does the extractor trick there. Actually, haven't seen that too often lately. Seems like Nine Overlord has been favored a lot uh, more recently, on the American servers at least, so... Um, Idra kicking it old school there with the extractor trick, making sure all his larva will be usable. And Nani hasn't actually done much of anything here. He's got a pylon down here, so the fact that he did not build it in the choke in front of his natural makes me think that he is not planning for a late game. Uh, not going to be planning for an expansion at least. The first gateway goes down at 13, and the spawning pool goes down at 14. So these guys are actually pretty even as far as their tier 1 fighting units are concerned. Naniwa getting a good look around Idra's base, just being annoying with that probe. He could actually start jabbing that hatchery just to make make alarms go off in Idra's headset. But um, Idra does not have a scouting drone over here yet. Instead, just going to let his overlords do the dirty work. He wants all his drones for macro purposes. Is he going to be dropping this hatch? It looks like he's getting close to 300 minerals now, and yes, there it is. He's going to send this other drone to chase the probe. So I said he was going to have the overlords do his dirty work, but it looks now like he's going to be sending that drone to see what's up. And it is going to be a one gateway, one forge build here at the ramp of Naniwa. No gas being placed yet. That is interesting. Uh, mineral only build coming from Naniwa, perhaps. And I'm a big fan of mineral only builds in team games, but uh, 1v1 doesn't really seem to uh, occur too much. And this drone is not going to be able to get into the base, so that is a super quick wall off. He, If he's gunning for warp gates, he's not really doing a good job. What is going on? Oh, I'm silly. I totally missed what was going on over here. Pylons being dropped, cannons being dropped. So he's trying a cannon contain on Idra here very early in the game. Uh, not even going to be building zealots here. Hasn't built a single zealot. Is chrono boosting probes still. Uh, sticking to this mineral only cannon rush. He probably got the idea when Tester successfully pulled this off on Idra in the King of the Beta tournament, but um, not sure how much success Naniwa's had with it. It looks like Idra is going to be contained in his base for the time being. Will he rush to Hydralisks and try to uh, break the contain that way? We'll just have to see, but this hatchery is broken down. The probe is accounted for over here on the right. What is Naniwa doing? doing back at home. He's chrono boosting zealots finally, or actually just producing them normally because he's using his chrono boost still on probes, dropping that gir first gas finally. Uh, first zealot making his way across the map. This probe is still over here with 10 health, so Idra needs to quickly, quickly get those gases up. He does have one finish just now. Drops three in it and immediately he'll probably be dropping three more here in the other one as soon as possible to get um, working on those mutas slash hydras, whatever he chooses. Probably hydralisks. But uh, breaking down the rocks here in the back of his base, just so he has a way out. Obviously, you can't be contained if you have two entrances to your base. Naniwa being a little bit delighted that his contain is working so far. Getting that cybernetics core up finally. It's very, very late cybernetics core and a second gas. Um, still working on one gate. He's only got a couple of zealots. I'm not even sure where they went. Looks like one's hanging out at the watchtower here. Uh, two more. Um, don't even know where they are. Just hanging around the map, really. Not being, not really doing anything with them. Nothing at the base over here either. Uh, but anyway, so Naniwa not really pressing any advantage that he did gain out of that contain. Looks like these rocks are going to be broken down relatively soon, and Idra will be free to do whatever he pleases. Stalker now coming up for Naniwa. I expect to see more gateways. Yes, finally, some more gateways coming down. Um, surprise! It took him this long to do it. He, I guess, you know, this total investment was 300 minerals. Uh, for the cannons and another 200 for the pylon, so 500 minerals for that. Not really a great contain, even kind of a weak contain, because this map does allow Idra to just go wherever he wants anyway. That lair is starting, it's about a third of the way done. Another gateway coming, so he's going cannon contain into four gate. However, it was so 
delayed. Um, I don't want to say slow because, you know, four gate doesn't really matter um, when that fourth gate is made, but Idra really didn't lose too much to it. Um, he had to cancel this hatchery, yes, but one base play is still not unheard of for Zerg players. And uh, he's going to be fine here as long as no Zealots are coming in to attack. He's actually sacking his uh, Zerglings here to try and kill off these cannons. Not sure if he's going to be successful. He doesn't even have a pulse around on either one of them. Finally, yes, the first cannon goes down. second one goes down without a fight. And now this hatchery is ready to go up uh, for Idra at the, at the natural. And fourth gate almost completed. He has a cannon in his mineral line just to protect against little Zerglings. His money is piling up here. 500 minerals, 300 gas. He needs to produce something. He's waiting for this uh, warp gate to finish, though. 600 minerals this early in the game. Pretty scary stuff. But um, what is Idra going to be doing? He spots that probe, is able to take out this proxy pylon. Naniwa actually cancels it. But either way, not going to be a threat for Idra anymore. Looks like he's getting a Hydralisk Den now, as predicted, but um, there's no real contain to break anymore, so he's, instead of having to use those Hydras to break the contain, he's instead going to be in just a really good position against these Tier 1 units of Naniwa. Naniwa's working on four gates, just basically focusing on building pylons and building units at this point in the game. Uh, the contain didn't work out too well for him. I mean, it, it delayed the hatchery, but it didn't stop anything. And here he comes now with how many Zealots? Five Zealots, two Stalkers, and a probe to build some pylons and potentially some cannons. Uh, I'm not sure if this number of Zerglings will be able to contend here, but five Hydralisks are on the way to help uh, help defend against this. Four more, or three more Stalkers coming along, trying to slow down these Zerglings. The Zerglings do not even have speed there. They just finished speed, I believe. And Pylon warping in units here off of four gates. Naniwa moving up this back. He's maybe a little surprised to see that there's no um, rocks needed to be broken here. He did lose his cannons earlier, though, so he's probably aware that those rocks were down anyway. This actually is starting to look like a lot of Stalkers and Zealots here, and another Pylon coming in. He's going to be able to defend this at least and start warping in units right away, but um, not really a ton of Hydras and Links here for Idra. He did not have that second base up quite as quickly as he wanted, so it looks like he does not have as many units as he would want. As a result, these Stalkers are just nailing all the Lings and now starting to go after the Hydralisks. The Hydralisks back up, and Idra does call GG. I want to... I feel like that was a little premature, but um, Naniwa was in a decent position there. Idra, I guess, knows better than I do how much damage these Hydras would be able to do, but... Um, I don't feel like he had lost the game quite yet, as he did have this other hatchery able to produce units. He's got plenty of money still and some larvae saved up, but um, you know, to each his own. He as he was supply block there too, though. Um, so good game to Naniwa, and now the series is tied 1-1, and let's see how they do in game three.